Let's take a look today at a question I was asked uh, several times recently about how do we determine the best day or time to be active on LinkedIn. Um, <clears throat> I understand the situation. A lot of people want to get more out of their LinkedIn efforts, and really, who doesn't after all? LinkedIn is a fantastic channel for job seekers. It's great for uh, job posters, people who are looking to hire. And it's also very popular for B2B marketers and for marketers in specific uh industries because you can go into LinkedIn groups and see uh, you know, what's what's being talked about. So we know we want to understand LinkedIn. The problem is that LinkedIn's analytics are generally terrible. Uh, what analytics the software gives, particularly as an individual, uh, are not great. You can get company level uh, basic analytics about the number of times your posts were seen and stuff, but uh, these are still all roll up numbers. So what we need to do is we need to find out how to get more out of the, the LinkedIn data that we get, particularly uh, more impactful data. Google Analytics, unsurprisingly, is our solution. It's how we're going to do uh, this, how we're going to get this answer. There are a couple of prerequisites to making sure that this works. First, you have to be tagging your, uh, your LinkedIn efforts. So make sure you're using the right source, the right medium, the right campaign name. If you're using services like Buffer, uh, you may want to hard code uh, the fact that you're on LinkedIn and that it's a social medium to make sure that everything is attributed correctly. Uh, you also need to post regularly and frequently. So one of the things that people do wrong when it comes to uh, figuring out how to, to measure social media is that they measure based on what they've been doing. If you are wondering what the best day and time to post on LinkedIn is and you only post on Mondays at 9... <laughs> <laughs> the best time to post in your data is naturally going to be Mondays at 9. So one of the things you want to do is post regularly, post frequently. Post maybe five or six times a day around the clock, maybe three hours spread out, three hours apart, so that you get regular even coverage. And then do this for a week, two weeks, maybe 30 days. 30 days uh, is really about ideal. And that way you'll get uh, a better sense of, of how people react to your content when it's scheduled around the clock, when it's scheduled on weekends, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, these are the prerequisites. So how do we do this? Well, first we need to build a custom segment in Google Analytics to look at LinkedIn data. So in uh, here I am on the home screen of Google Analytics. I've got my audience here. I'm going to add a new segment. And the new segment I'm going to, we'll just call this LinkedIn. And we want to specify conditions. We want to specify our source or our medium contains. So you can see there's a couple of different uh, categories here. So we want to specify LinkedIn, which will encompass all of those categories. Or source medium contains the LinkedIn shortener, lnkd.in. This will ensure that uh, we are picking up both shortened links as well as the website itself. Now, if you also happen to use a, um, a campaign tracking, you'd want to add that in as well. So, for example, I would, might say campaign contains LinkedIn if you had things that were tagged that way. Once we've got the segment, go ahead and hit save. And now we can see how many people from LinkedIn uh, have come to my site recently. Well, this is good for general days, you know, d general date series, but we really want to understand dates and times. So we're going to do a custom report, which is under customization, custom report. We're going to get a nice new custom report here. LinkedIn days and times, we'll call it that. And we want users. We want hour of day, and we might even want day of the month or day of week. So let's do day of the month. And I'm actually going to switch these two first. Hit save. And we'll add in our LinkedIn segment. And remove all users. 
and then uh, we'll give this uh, back to January 1 so that we get to... So now in terms of day of the month, set this to 50 and make it a little easier to see. This is the day of the month that uh, people most commonly visit. Now if I want to tweak this, I can hit edit. So use hour here. And again, expand this out to uh, past 24 hours. Maybe like a little bar graph here. And naturally, because I do a lot of my social media posting personally in the morning, we do see a greater amount of posting during that time, and then followed by other hours of the day. But really, you can see um, from about 8 a.m. to about 11 a.m. is when I get the most traffic on a an hourly basis from LinkedIn. So now I have an idea of what hours of the day. Suppose I want to know day of the week. We have here, of course, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are the most popular days for uh, my website content on LinkedIn, followed by Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So now we have a better sense of um, where I get my traffic day and time. This is going to be different for your website, for your analytics. It will vary based on how often you post, uh, when you post, and uh, how large your audience is. So you can use this report to get a baseline and then use it to change your strategy. And if you haven't done the benchmarking exercise of posting five or six times a day around the clock for 30 days straight, you should do that first so that you get accurate data and then measure that 30-day period as opposed to using the bigger look back that we did uh, just now. But that's how you do um, an understanding of day and time in LinkedIn. For LinkedIn, you use Google Analytics, you build a custom report, and then uh, you can use that to inform your strategy and to test out different times, uh, perhaps to run sponsored posts on particular days if you know that uh, certain days are, are more active than others. But it's a useful way to get started with LinkedIn Analytics not using LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.